Good afternoon, welcome. Um, I'm Agathe Maurice and I'm part of the programming team at the Cine Lumière of the Institut Français du Royaume-Uni. We are very uh, delighted to have a special screening to present you today, the screening of Tori and Lokita. The film uh, is presented in partnership with Picture House Entertainment and uh, the film won the 75th anniversary prize uh, at this year Cannes Film Festival. Um, and we are very honored and lucky to have with us today the lead actress, Jolene Bundu, and the directors, uh, Jean-Pierre and Luc Darden. Please join me for, uh, with a round of applause to welcome on stage, please. I like the fact that your films are really well known for uh, highlighting um, inequalities and, uh, among the underclasses and uh, people at the margin of society, and Torian Lokita doesn't fail in uh, painting such a portrait. So I know we are just doing, we are doing an introduction, so we don't want to say too much, but could you tell us in two words what the film is about, please? <laughs> I'll do it? Yes. Do okay. Oh, oh. Joël is speaking, I guess. <laughs> I'll do a short introduction. So the movie tells uh, a beautiful story about two young teenagers, Torian and Lokita, uh, unaccompanied minors and their beautiful friendship and love they have for each other and sadly they go through huge disasters like mental and physical abuse it can be as it was shown on the trailer so I can say that <laughs> and but still through that negativity their friendship and their love persists and I cannot say anything more because That's I was enough. spoiled Thank you. Um, I wanted to ask you what was the starting point of the film, what, oh, you came up with the idea of this story. In French, in French, sorry. Uh, thank you for coming. Le point de départ, c'est une histoire d'il y a une dizaine d'années, un premier début de scénario. So the starting point is the story of a first, the start of a script that we were looking at and developing 10 years ago à propos d'une famille venue du Cameroun, euh, une famille composée d'une mère et de deux enfants. La mère recevait l'ordre de quitter le territoire et elle disait à ses enfants, « Allez vous présenter dans un commissariat de police pour devenir enfant MENA, mineur non accompagné, et je reviendrai euh, dans, dans, dès que je peux. » Et on se retrouvera à tel endroit où vous avez l'habitude d'aller. Et elle leur dit, euh, « il y a une chose que vous devez absolument ne pas faire, c'est vous séparer. Toujours rester ensemble. So the story that we were developing at the time was a story of a mother and two children. Um, the mother was going to be sent back to her country. And so she said to the children, you go and present yourself at the police station and they will put you in a center for unaccompanied minors. And whatever you do, stay together, I will come and find you eventually. But at all costs, you must stay together. Et voilà, c'est un petit peu la phrase de cette mère qui est restée pendant dix ans dans nos têtes, puisque quand on a lu quelques articles dans la presse belge, mais qui ne concernaient pas seulement la Belgique, euh, des articles qui disaient qu'un grand nombre d'enfants non accompagnés, donc mineurs, étrangers, disparaissaient de la société euh, au moment où ils allaient euh, avoir 18 ans et être certains qu'ils n'auraient pas leurs papiers. And this thread of the story with the mother stayed with us and came back to us when we were reading in the Belgian press in a lot of newspapers so many articles about unaccompanied minors um, exiled minors who were disappearing. And so that's a phenomenon that was suddenly happening in huge numbers and nobody knew why, they were disappearing, going underground, all traces gone. Et c'est là on s'est dit, ben, on va choisir ces deux enfants sans mère et l'un va être la mère de l'autre durant le film. Et c'est une histoire d'amitié voilà, entre ces deux jeunes migrants où, où l'un est parfois la mère et parfois c'est l'autre qui, qui protège l'autre. And so that was... The, the starting point to then go from the two children. We would just concentrate on the two children and a story of friendship. And no mother in the script, but the children would become each other's parents, mother, and, and support each other. But it's about friendship. OK. 
Okay. Um, I wanted to ask you as well, uh, it's the case as well in many of your previous films, you often work with non-professional uh, actors. Uh, so I, was wanted, I wanted to ask you why this choice and particularly for Tori and Lokita. Why this choice? En français maintenant. Parce que dans nos pays, il n'existe pas de comédiens qui soient des enfants ou des adolescents et dont le métier est d'être comédien et en même temps d'aller à l'école. Ça n'existe pas, ça. Parce que dans nos pays, nous avons des professionnels acteurs qui sont encore à l'école et qui sont déjà travaillés comme acteurs, vraiment, ne existent pas. Ça existe à un moment donné à Hollywood. Ça existe à un point à Hollywood. Elisabeth Taylor était un enfant comédien, je pense. <laughs> Ah, oui. Elizabeth Taylor was a child actor. Obviously, there are some. Buster but... Keaton. Voilà. Et euh, donc nous, on, on procède comme toutes les réalisatrices et réalisateurs européens procèdent et anglais. Euh, on, on fait des castings. So we work like all the directors um, in, in Europe, anyway. We we have casting sessions. We look for cast. Donc dans ces castings, on a rencontré Joëli et on a rencontré Pablo. And during these casting sessions, we met Joely and Pablo. Et parmi toutes les Joely possibles et tous les Pablo possibles, on nous avons choisi Joely et Pablo parce qu'ils nous semblaient les mieux. And among all the possibilities of the Joelys and the Pablos, we chose this Joely because they seem and Pablo because they seem the best. Pour donner vie à nos personnages. They seem the best to bring our characters to life. Après avoir un peu travaillé, on a travaillé deux trois séances et c'est eux qu'on a retenu. Voilà. And after working a bit, a few sessions, we, they, they stood out and we kept them. Et le grand, le, ce qui est merveilleux quand vous faites ça, quand vous avez la chance de pouvoir découvrir et travailler avec des jeunes, enfin des jeunes futurs acteurs et actrices, quoi qu'ils fassent après, à partir du moment où vous travaillez avec eux, ils deviennent des jeunes acteurs et des jeunes actrices. Pour la, vous voyez naître devant votre caméra pour la première fois. Une jeune actrice et un jeune acteur, et ça c'est formidable. And what's amazing when you have the chance, when you have the luck, the opportunity to work like this and watch young future actors in front of your camera, you see the birth of an actor there, because from the point, from the point when they start working with you, they are actors, and that's wonderful. Et l'équipe voit, assiste aussi à ça, assiste au premier plan de Joélie, au premier plan de Pablo. Et l'équipe aussi se rend compte que devant eux, là, sont en train de naître des comédi une comédienne et un comédien. And the crew as well is aware of that. They are witnessing the same birth of a talent of an actor. Et ils deviennent vraiment, Joélie et Pablo deviennent à ce moment-là le ciment de l'équipe. And that's at that point that both Joélie and Pablo become the cement of the crew. Et toute l'équipe va se mettre à leur service d'une certaine manière pour, pouvoir, pour que naissent Tori et Lokita. And so then the whole team, the whole crew will be at their service in order for the characters Tori and Lokita. Et on a to travaillé grow. un peu quand même aussi. Uh, But we worked a bit as well. Uh, are, it's the same for the audience because you see Lokita and Joely for the first time, and maybe they will be your cement, <laughs> maybe. Um, I wanted as well to ask you, so you directed the film, but you also wrote the film, and I wanted to know uh, how you work together as writers and as directors. Comment vous travaillez ensemble? Oui, oui. Très, très simplement, on fait tout ensemble. Quite simply put, we do everything together. Il n'y a qu'une chose quand on a fait la structure du, du, de l'histoire, du récit, j'ai écrit le scénario. There's only one thing is once we've done the structure, we've got the structure of the story, of the narration, I write the script. Tout en téléphonant à mon frère, puisque quand on écrit, on change les choses. Mm. Donc euh, je lui dis, tiens, euh, et il me dit, ah oui, tiens, et je lui dis, ah ben oui, c'est vrai. Et voilà, <laughs> donc on continue quand même euh, so, à travailler ensemble. So even though I say I write it, by phone. <laughs> I phone, I phone my brother and we keep, I, we keep having this exchange and conversations like, yeah, I wrote this and how about that, so there's... We, we are working together. Il est humble. Il diminue un peu parce que c'est quand même. 
<rire> écrire un scénario, même si on se téléphone, même si on a fait une structure, à un moment donné, on n'est pas l'un à côté de l'autre pour écrire. C'est lui qui écrit. Et bon, un script, c'est quand même important. Well, it, it is kind of diminishing because it is very much, very much he, he who writes because the script is important. And did the script from conception to the film we are about to see now, has it changed a lot or did you stick to the initial idea? Mais c'est ce qui est bien, c'est que faire un film, ça peut, c'est un processus vivant. Ça peut être un processus vivant. What's great about making a film is that it, it, it is or it can be, be a living process. Et nous essayons que ce processus de travail reste un processus vivant et ne soit pas seulement l'exécution d'une tâche. And we try very hard for that to remain a living process and not just doing a task. Un film n'est fini que quand euh, on a terminé le, la dernière séance de mixage, qu'on a revu, et on dit maintenant c'est fini, on arrête. And a film is only finished when we finish the last session of, of mixing and that we, that's it. We say now this is finished. Mais entre le scénario écrit et le film que vous allez voir tout à l'heure, il y a quelques différences, il y a des scènes qui ne sont pas là. Mais je veux dire, l'essentiel du trajet des personnages, l'essentiel des intentions, et plus que des intentions, des scènes qui étaient écrites, sont là. Mais entre le script écrit et ce que vous allez voir sur screen, il y a quelques différences et peut-être quelques scènes qui ne sont pas featured. But the essence of it, the essence of the characters and of the journey of their characters and the story is there. Okay. Um, Joely, it was your first role. Um, you did manage to create a very deeply moving character. Uh, could you tell us how you prepared for the role uh, or you approached the role? Well, um, everything concerning the preparation, I did not really do it alone because, uh, as we know, the brothers are then always rehearse before filming the movie and we rehearse also with the camera, so it will be like closed sets with me or maybe sometimes Pablo, but as he was a, still a child, uh, less than me, or just the head actors with the filmmakers on, on the set where we are going to film and just repeating everything. And that uh, happened for, I think, 50 days or five weeks. And that helped a lot with preparing just the movie because you, you were already into the person you are going to act. And so that was quite easy for me to then just be Lokita afterwards. And for the rest, it was also them who created a safe place and environment for me to perform with the whole team that I consider as family. So that was easy for me to just be Lokita and be free. And as I often say, I consider Lokita as a human being. And so the only thing that I did for, for my preparing was just dissociating myself from her and consider her as a human being and for example on set I always had like this wig and every time I had the wig on I was Julie and every time I had the wig off it was just Lokita with her corners and I would look in the mirror and be like okay who are you I want to get to know you and every time we did another take I got to know Lokita much more than the uh, take before and so that was really helpful but it's a teamwork. And was there a lot of improvisation in your acting or everything was written? Not really, because uh, everything was written and uh, also rehearsed. And if I had maybe ideas, I, would, uh, I could safely propose to the brothers and we would just talk about it. But everything was really accurate also because uh, that's how it most of them happens in real life. So we really, we really wanted to show you reality and because it's their life and we are not going to improvise their life or change their life. They are human beings. Story and Lokita exist, at least in, in my eyes. And so we rehearsed everything. And by the time we were on set with the big camera and the whole team, it was like a dance. So we already knew where we had to stand. It, is, it was just as if it, we, we just knew. And uh, you did manage to create on screen a very close a bond between Tori and Lokita. 
uh, that is almost palpable on the screen. Uh, did you know Pablo before, or did you work together to create this really deep bond? Well, we didn't really work on our bond. It just happened. And I didn't know Pablo at all before the movie. The first time I met him was uh, for rehearsing the song uh, that, we'll, that we'll be singing in the movie. And so I entered just into the room and I saw him singing. And it was just like a little boy with so much energy, with a great voice. So he, he was really intimidating in the beginning because I was like, okay, I have a challenge right there. <laughs> the child can sing and I also love to sing. <laughs> And yeah, but he was amazing and so much energy. And as I also love to say, he took a lot of our energy, but he gave us also a lot of energy. So that bond was just obvious, I think, because till this day, I all already just consider him as my little brother also. Thank you. So I have a last question. Uh, is there anything in particular you'd like to say to the audience who is about to see your film today? <rire> non, on, on, difficulte. On a juste une envie, c'est que on espère que avec euh, Tori et Lokita, chaque spectateur et chaque spectatrice qui sont là cet après-midi vont avoir une belle conversation secrète. On, voilà, c'est tout ce qu'on peut espérer. Well, we, we, hope, bah. we hope that with Tori and Lokita, every member of the audience here will have a beautiful conversation. With, with the two characters, with the two, Tori looked at an interior, the, yes. and with themselves. Okay, merci beaucoup. It's good. <laughs> yeah. Bon film. Merci. Good screening. <laughs> <laughs>